What's up, you guys? Slim here, Team Symmetry, here with the newest episode of Slim Chat. And for this episode, I've decided that after a while, I'm going to help you guys out. I'm going to give you guys, I guess what I can call, my YouTube advice. I have hundreds, and I literally mean hundreds of messages, uh, combined with Facebook, YouTube, uh, Skype, all these things that people are asking me, how do you successfully make a, make a YouTube channel and achieve success? If you guys watch Dan's video, the last video is called The Laziest YouTuber. He talked about um, how people will approach him and Devin and ask him the same questions. I get asked the same questions too. It's always the same thing. How do I make my channel better? What can I upload? What can I talk about? How do you do it? How do you get so many subs? Blah, 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 all this stuff. Now the thing is, is that I started slow like everyone else. I started with a very minimal amount of subscribers and I eventually built up to where I am right now. Now the thing is, is I learned through trial and error exactly what to upload and why the content I upload is, has been successful. So I'm going to give you guys just like some of the main tips and I'll start with the very basics. Make sure this is what you want to do. You have to understand that Yugi tubing, as it's called, is not an easy job. It is a job, though. If you don't look at this as a, as a mini job, then you're definitely not cut out for this. You invest a lot of time. And yes, I know, I see the little dust particles going around. They're called dust, you guys. They're not ghosts, they're not anything. But they do fly around in here. This is an old room, which I need to clean. I'm just lazy. But when I rearrange the office, it'll look nicer. Anyways, back on to the video. Make sure this is something you want to do. Make sure that... You're going to invest the time, you're going to invest the money for your camera, your software, whatever it is. And make sure that you really do care about this game because if you get on here and you, you spit the same crap that everyone else says, you're not going to get anywhere. Um, what I've noticed is that once you realize that this is a job and this is something you thoroughly enjoy, you love coming into wherever you record to record every day like I do, I look forward to it. I wake up in the morning, I do my things in the morning, I'm like, all right, time to get to work. I literally look at this as a job. I actually consider this more of a job than my actual job, which is crazy, but I love this more. And you just make sure that when you come in here, you have your ideas set. You might have to write them down. I never write anything down so I feel because I feel it's, it's pointless. And just make sure that you're coming in here in a good mood. If you come in here in a crappy mood, no one's going to want to watch your crap. No one's going to watch someone who's depressed or someone who's angry or someone who honestly doesn't know what they're talking about. So number one thing is make sure that this is something you want to do. The next thing is, well, I guess I'll get on, on to it. If you're a natural person in the sense that you don't need to script anything, don't do it. People have always told me that I upload some of the best content, and the only reason I can say that it's probably decent content is because nothing's scripted. I'm not looking at a script going, Yu-Gi-Oh is fun because it is. No, I don't do any of that shit. I don't believe in reading lines. I don't believe in any of that. I believe that if I'm going to talk to you guys about something that I know like the back of my hand, that I'm going to achieve the best video because you're going to get the real me, the natural me, everything that you see is in there, the dust is in there, everything's in there, you're getting the most honest video that you can, that I can upload and that's what I think separates me from a lot of channels. Having a script is pointless, having to edit out this, edit out that, bullshit. You want to see a real video, here's a real video. That's what I've always believed and I think that if you do the same thing you'll understand that people respect real content. Make sure your content is real, don't copyright shit, don't steal people's ideas, if you have to take a, a person's idea, tell them about it, tell them you're trying to improve upon it, and do your own thing and be original. Because I know for a fact, I ain't the first person to get up here and wear like 60 different hats. I mean, maybe I have a ridiculous variety, but honestly, other people wear hats. It's, it's not uncommon. I just make it look good, I guess. So... It's things like that. Be original and, you know, speak from the heart. Like, seriously, speak from the heart because when you do that, you achieve the most honest video you can and you achieve the best content possible. Um, I guess the next thing along the content, don't do what everyone else does. People know me. I never review products. I cannot stand it. When a new product comes out, I'm scratching my head thinking, oh, God, here come 50, 60 people wanting to talk about how this bitch is getting reprinted. FYI, it came out as secret, it's getting reprinted as a secret. It looks exactly the same. That's bullshit. It looks no different. It's not super, it's not ultra, it's a fucking secret regardless. So, I didn't want to get in there and say, oh my god, Dolk is getting reprinted. Ah, are we getting Maxi? Fuck no, we're not getting Maxi. Hopefully we do when they release the rest of the tin reprints. But right now, everyone's like, oh my god, is Maxi coming? Is Maxi coming? We don't know yet. 
everything that comes out, the legendary collections, the new sets, the tins, the decks, I don't do any of that. Because that's what our channels such as Vexy, um, Kiko25, Galactic God, Mcole40, that's what they're for. Those channels have established that when new products come out, I forgot to mention Cyber Knight, Cyber Knight as well, when all those products come out, those are the channels you go to. I go to those channels. When a new product's released and I see Vexy's uploaded a video or he's texting me about it, first thing I do is I hop on my phone or I hop on my computer and check it out. Okay, cool. Am I going to buy the product? It's not guaranteed, but at least I know about it. So when things like that happen, I feel like, why does everyone feel that they have to be the one to announce it? Who the fuck cares if you're the first person to post it about the new Dolka tin? Eventually, someone's getting around to it. No offense, but if you only have 25 subscribers and Mega Capital G comes on here and says Dolka's getting reprinted, you know that everyone's going to go to his channel to watch that because he's an established YouTuber. People know that when someone like that gets on here and talks about something, there's a reason for it. So that is another thing. Don't do what everyone else does. Don't do product reviews. People know what's coming out and you're not going to benefit yourself and you're not going to expand your content by doing that. So that's another tip. I guess along those lines. If you're going to do box openings, pack openings, be excited. Be simply unlucky. That man is ridiculous. He opens the corner and is like, oh, baby, I pulled, I don't know, mini guts or some shit. He makes it entertaining. It's like you want to watch that. You want to see, you know, oh, my God, it might be the crappiest card in the world, but to someone else, it's an amazing card. That's what makes him so successful is that he does pack openings unlike anyone else. That's why you rarely see product openings from me. I'm eventually going to do them, but I'm going to try to do them in a way that they're actually excited that people will actually get a thrill out of watching that. So if you're going to be someone that just opens packs and does product reviews, unfortunately, you're just not going to make it. That is the honest thing for me is you will not make it. Next thing, if you're going to do deck profiles, make sure you have all the cards. I know that that sounds weird. It sounds really small uh, compared to these other things, but people don't want to see proxies. People don't want to see blank cards or... Uh, uh, clear sleeves and stuff like that like oh I don't have this oh I don't have that make sure you have all the cards make sure that they're all there and make sure you understand what you're talking about like don't you know talk about the deck and and like not know what you're talking about or like mess up and whatever you know catch your mistakes and like along those lines if you're running one of the most generic decks ever, for God's sakes, if you're going to profile it, make it unique. When I profiled Rabbit, I got so sick of profiling Rabbit, so I was like, well, okay, these are the three Stooges, these are the Bunnies, and then I eventually changed it up to where I didn't run Guaiba. But I still think that was the most boring deck profile I could have ever got uh, given. I gave you the final countdown profile, which I like hated doing, but it got a bunch of praise because I was like, well, this deck is stupid, but let's find out how we beat it. That's why that video was successful, is that I gave an honest opinion about a deck that I couldn't stand, but I ran anyway to prove a point, got the point proved and now I'm not even using it anymore if you guys don't believe me the deck is literally it's a slim secret binder by the way is literally in here as you guys can see this is my deck binder where I hold every deck that I that I've ever ran if you don't believe me there's rabbit there's the whole rabbit tour guide Valor, all that all that's in here all my main decks are in there because I'm really tired of the format so that's what I'm saying is that if you're gonna do a deck profile make it unique and be excited about it like if you're not excited about the deck no one else is um, the next advice I could be, uh, probably the most important, be consistent. If people know me for anything, it's that I post a shit ton of videos. Now, I didn't, I'm didn't. i not doing what I used to when I first started. I was pu publishing like 10 videos a day like some moron. Like I like to hear myself talk and shit. I've realized that I've established my segments. I upload almost daily. I take the weekend off to go play in locals, learn a couple new things, and come back with more knowledge. And I give you guys those extra two days to go back and view all the videos. That's been working for me. That's what you guys should do. Establish how many days you want to upload and do it be consistent tell your subs this is what's coming out this is what to prepare for do that and you will be successful i promise you that consistency is key people always ask me for shout outs they always ask me to check out their channel they always ask to be featured whenever i do a guest upload week the thing is you need to meet all this criteria you need to be consistent you need to thoroughly love this game to the fact to the point where you really do make good videos and you don't say the same shit over and over again like people who rant and stuff are some of my favorite channels because they're saying the most honest stuff. Mickey Vlogs is a perfect example. Gets on there and talks about the most random shit, but you know you're about to laugh. I can't watch one of his videos without laughing. I mean, seriously, like, that's something, like, he has a gift for that. He is an entertainer, like, flat-out entertainer, and that is something that a lot of channels, there will never be another Mickey Vlogs. Like, for the love of God, you can try and try, but you'll never be able to do that. 
If you can do something like that, if you can establish yourself as a person like that, you will be successful. But don't upload the same stuff. People don't want to see it 30, 40 times, especially if you're not a big channel. And like I said, consistency is key. Be consistent. Um, the next thing I can say is um, along the lines of consistency, figure out what you're here to talk about. Why are you making YouTube videos? Because you don't get AdSense immediately. You don't get money immediately. There has to be a reason. People ask me what my reason was. My reason was I love the game. I'm a veteran player that's been here since day one, and I have a lot to say about the game. I have a lot of knowledge from back in the days to up to now, and I have a lot of experience. That's why I do it, and I love doing it, and I love helping people and making a difference. That's the thing is figure out why you're doing this. Figure out why you're getting in front of the camera and why you're talking about this. This and figure out what it is you're here to talk about today. If you get up here and you're like, well, I wasn't sure I was going to make a video, then just stop. Just stop. If you are coming in here not thinking about making a video, then get the hell out. Seriously, get the hell out, go cool off, go for a run, go do something, and come back when you're ready to talk about Yu Gi Oh! or something related to the game. Don't come in here and the first thing you say is, well, I wasn't sure I was going to make a video. You're out. You ever watch that uh, show America's Got Talent? You know the X's? You get an X. So, that's like the best advice I can give you guys is make sure this is something you want to do. I've established that this is something I want to do for a really long time. I've put in the time. I've put in the effort. I've made plenty of mistakes. I've made a shit ton of mistakes that I get confronted on. I realize that, oh, okay, I could have said this better. I could have done this better. And you learn through trial and error. So that's something you need to understand. And I think the very last thing I'm going to talk about, the very last thing, and it's probably the most important thing I have learned about my time here. Now, I've not been on YouTube for, I will be here a whole year on this channel, August 27th. That will be this channel's one year anniversary. Now, the one thing I have learned through almost getting 4,000 subscribers is that you are going to be loved and you are going to be hated. You are going to be despised. Despised. People are going to hate your guts, hate your face, hate your voice and your content. And you are going to get trolled. Now, that's the thing. Are you cut out for it? Can you handle people trolling you? Can you handle people trying to bash your videos because they're jealous because they can't do what you do? You need to understand that if you can't take the bad with the good, then you're not going to get anywhere. I've gotten plenty of dislikes. I've gotten plenty of people saying that I'm shitty. I've had people call me faggot because I wear earrings, I wear hats. I've had all that shit happen. Does it phase me? Absolutely fucking not. Because fuck it, I'm Slim X Team Symmetry. I don't give a shit. That's the name that I established for the channel. You don't like the name? Here's a little FYI. People always ask me, why is it Slim X Team Symmetry? Slim is my nickname. X is another way of saying of. Team Symmetry is my team. Plain and simple. You don't like the name? Then get the fuck off my channel. Very simple. I'm very upfront about those things. You need to be able to handle haters. Haters, all they're trying to do is, is trying to break you down. You don't let them do it. Once you realize that you are so much more than them, you are so much bigger than them, and that you are so much stronger than them, you won't have any problems. You need to be able to take the hate with the love. And once you do, you will be successful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I went in on it. I got kind of heated. I was thinking about a couple things and I was like, yeah, I can say this better. Let's be honest. I've given you guys the best answers, the best advice I can. I hope that this helps everyone that's starting out, everyone that needs a helping hand. This is the best thing I could do because I unfortunately cannot get back to the hundreds and hundreds of you. But I want you guys to know that if you follow these ideas, you will be successful and you will make a difference. And people like me, people like Galactagod, Underworld, Kiko, Mickey, all of us, we we will be there to help you. Bigger channels have helped me and they've made me into the Yugi Tuber I am today and I honestly could not do it without all of them and I can't do it without all of you. If you guys aren't watching my content, then what the hell am I doing in this room? Like seriously. So I just want to say thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs this up. If we get 100 plus likes, 150 likes, 200 likes, whatever it is, that would be amazing. I just hope that this content and that this segment really helps you guys out and that's all I got to say you guys. So thumbs up the video. Good luck to everyone and I will see you guys in the next video. So that's all I got to say you guys. Thank you for watching.